Hi everyone. So we have successfully installed this Anaconda distribution and our required Pandas library on our local machine and we have successfully started this Jupyter lab in a last video. Now I have already my Jupyter lab launcher is open. Now in this video we are going to see how to import all those necessary library which we are going to use throughout this whole course. So mostly we are going to use with this Pandas library. So let's see how to import it. As we have already seen in earlier videos while verifying the installation, but let's go a little bit more into detail about it. So I'm going to create one more new Jupyter notebook. So just press on this button and it will create a new Jupyter notebook for me. Let me rename this notebook. So I'm going to give the name like input library and rename it. Let me just close it so we can get a more room here. So let me just create the heading import library. Now it is a by default Python cell. So I'm just going to change it to the markdown cell. And along with that, I'm going to give one hash and space. Let me just execute. Now to execute this particular cell, as I already told you, we are going to use either this particular button or shift enter so i am going to continue with this shift enter okay so first uh, we are going to import the numerical python library for some of the video we are going to use this numerical python library apart from that pandas is internally using or heavily using this numerical python library so to import this numerical python library i can just simply use import numpy now every single function which is written as a part of this particular library i can just simply reference it with name like a numpy dot whatever all functions are available and there is a one more concept like a alias name so instead of writing this full five character of numpy i can use while importing this particular module in a python as and common convention which we are going to use which all the community people of this python and data science people data analysis people will use like a np so now what happens that we are referencing this particular library and numpy library as a name np so you might also have a two name so some of the people will call you with your original name and some people will call you with your some sort of pat name at your home so that might be your another name so you can be referenced with a two name or three name same way this library we are going to reference with a two name so either you can reference with numpy but numpy is a little bit longer so if you want to just reference with the name like a np only so now in future whatever the functionality is available inside this numpy library you can just simply reference with np so let me just execute it so it has successfully loaded this library now let me just write np instead of numpy i am just pressing dot here and press tab so all those kinds of suggestion which i can apply on the top of this numpy library it will be list down here so you can see now instead of uh, writing this full numpy library with just np name you can get all those kind of suggestion and you can apply all those function has been written inside this numpy library now we are not going to go into detail about all those function as of now let's import the another library like a pandas library which we are heavily going to use throughout this whole course so for pandas the library name is pandas only but there is a sort acronym commonly all those community people use like a spd so now every single function and methods attributes available you can just reference with a pd name let me just execute it and the third library which we are going to import is a mother of all visualization library available in a python so directly we are not going to use any function from it but let me just show you that how to import those library and pandas visualization functionality which we are going to see in this course that is also written on the top of this matplotlib library so sometimes you can use some functions out of this matplotlib library also for the visualization purpose so i am going to import 
मैट ओह सॉरी एक्चुअली आई हैव जस्ट प्रेस टैप सो इट हैज ऑटोमेटिकली ऑटो कंप्लीट फॉर मी सो आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली यूज मैट प्लॉट लिप इम्पोर्ट एंड इट हैज इम्पोर्ट एट इज मैट प्लॉट लिप बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज ऑल दो मॉड्यूल जनरली इन साइड दिस मैट प्लॉट लिप लाइब्रेरी इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वन मॉड्यूल अवेलेबल इन दिस मैट प्लॉट लिप लाइब्रेरी इज पाई प्लॉट सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस पाई प्लॉट now you can see by just pressing tab it start giving me suggestion so i am just going to select which is particularly appropriate suggestion for me so i am just going to go to that particular option and just select enter and i am going to give dalia's name like a plt so every single function available in this pie plot i can just simply reference with the plt so we have successfully loaded all those three library which we are going to use throughout this whole course so let me just summarize what we have done till now in a section 1 and a section 2 that we have seen some of the things related to pandas that what is the role of pandas and why pandas is required what problem pandas is solving and some of the features associated with the pandas then there is a some course feature course related faqs we have seen and we have successfully installed this anaconda python pandas and all those necessary library which we want for this particular course and we have gone through the walk through of this jupiter lab which we are going to use as a integrated development environment inside this course and we have successfully loaded this library which we required like first and very important library is import pandas as a pd now from the next section we'll first go through the basic crash course on a python so this is not for everyone if you are already comfortable with a python you can just simply skip this particular section and it is just the optional section i'm i'm going to add in this particular course and you can just straight away uh, jump to the actual panda score functionality of series data structure which we'll start in a next to next section Okay so that is all about this video i am very much excited to see you and get started with the pandas core data structure like a data frame series and a panel data structure